Welcome to the Whittle Workflow Basics tutorial. The learning goals of this tutorial are to introduce the four parts of Whittle workflows on Terra, explain how Docker improves reproducibility, provide an overview of basic Whittle syntax, and describe how to find and configure workflows. What is a workflow? A workflow is a set of instructions connecting multiple analysis steps allowing you to automate your data processing. When you think about the transformation your data needs to go through to get from raw input to publication, workflows are good for the steps that you need to apply to all your data. In Terra, these workflow scripts are in the workflow description language, WDL, pronounced Whittle. There are four things you need to successfully run a Whittle workflow in Terra. First is Docker, a portable package of software and all its dependencies. Second is a workflow written in Whittle. Third is an execution engine for running the Whittle, in this case Terra uses Cromwell. Finally, the fourth is your input data. Let's focus on Dockers and workflows in a little more detail. Dockers are a portable package of software and dependencies. As an example for why they are useful, think about a time when you've worked with a colleague and needed to rerun their analysis. Maybe you ran into problems having the same version of the analysis software. Maybe you ran into problems having the right dependencies. Your version of Java was wrong. Docker solved this problem by allowing you to use the exact same versions as your colleagues. Dockers are available in public repositories like Docker Hub. You can use them interactively from your local computer. You can actually go into the Docker and run the software. You can also use them in Whittle workflow specifying them in the Whittle runtime section which we'll go over. If you can't find a public docker with the software you need, you can create one. We have guides to get you started, but that's out of scope for this tutorial. We covered dockers. What about workflows? When you're thinking about your analysis steps, you might need to use different types of software to transform your data. Each step or tool that you need can be thought of as its own task. That's exactly how Whittle declares the different steps that you're using. Above is an example of a task called task underscore A. You can see it has an input section where define different input types. It has a command section where we actually tell the workflow a bash command that we want to use to call software tools and transform our data. It has a runtime section where you can specify computational parameters. In the case of running in the cloud on Terra, we're going to call a docker that we can use to set up our virtual machine. Lastly, it has an output section where we write our transformed data to an output variable. You can imagine that you have multiple tasks that you want to complete for your end-to-end -end analysis and to string those together, we use workflow definition. On the right you can see that the workflow definition defines inputs similar to a task. It calls tasks where we can use those workflow inputs to set our individual task inputs. We can also declare workflow outputs as well and you'll see an example of that in a moment. Tasks can be written in the same Whittle script as a workflow definition like shown in this image or they can be written in their own Whittle file and imported. When you run a Whittle workflow, you need to specify inputs like strings and file paths using a configuration file called a JSON. Fortunately, Terra can read Whittle workflows and generate a JSON for you in the user interface, so we won't be making a custom JSON but using the one that is generated in the UI. If you want to bring a workflow into Terra or find an existing workflow, you have a couple of options. You can use DocStore. DocStore can integrate with GitHub, so if you're already coding on GitHub, this is a good option. In this tutorial, we'll be using the Broad Methods repository, which is a legacy repository. This will allow us to write a Whittle on the fly and import. We don't need to worry about permissions. In this tutorial, we introduced the four parts of Whittle workflows on Terra, explained how Docker improves reproducibility, provided an overview of basic Whittle syntax, and described how to find and configure workflows. Possible next steps include e running an existing workflow, writing a new workflow, or customizing a Docker image. Thank you to everyone who contributed.